So what I'm going to do today is test out a helical half inch roughing aluminum end mill on this block. Now, half inch end mill, one inch 250 length of cut with the coating. I'm doing exactly what their uh, book recommends, 2200 surface footage, four and a half thou per tooth. As you can see there, and two hundred thousandths with the cut. I have not run this program yet, so we're going to see how it goes. Sixteen thousand eight hundred and seven RPMs, and uh, let's test her out. the feed rate a little bit and see what happens. Two hundred and seventy two inches a minute now. Hundred and thirty percent spindle load. Let's try a little higher. Some pretty good sized chips, 317 inches a minute. Up another 10%, 340 inches a minute. Still sounds pretty good. Ten percent more. So we are now at a hundred and sixty percent. Just doing a quick cleanup pass. See what the finish looks like. Not bad at all. Finish, pretty acceptable for a rougher. But uh, floor finish, relatively smooth. And it threw out some pretty heavy chips. As you can see, they're actually a lot finer than I expected. As you can see, it's actually uh, does a good job of breaking them up. But a lot of chips. So at the end there, we ended up at 160% feed rate override. Which is pretty good for a half inch roughing tool. Next we're going to try out the 5 Ace. So that last cut left a little to be desired. 
I got all the way up to seven and a half thou on the machine. So I've programmed this one with a simple slot at seven thou per tooth. And we're gonna see where we can get up to until either the machine sounds like it doesn't like it or the tool breaks. So here we go. Doesn't sound horrible. We're only at 352 inches a minute. Let's try going up 10%. 388 inches a minute. 10 more, 423 inches per minute. We're at 100% spindle load, so it's working. Remember, this is a 1.1 inch depth of cut and a 200 width on a half inch tool. And we are at 25 thousandths per rev on a three flute end mill. Let's go 10% more. We are now, 130 percent, 27 thousandths per rev, 458 inches per minute, 110 percent spindle load. Let's try 10 more. 500 inches per minute almost, 29 thousandths per rev, 10 more. We're at 120 percent spindle load, so we're getting close to where I want to max out at. 530 inches per minute. 10 more. 10. Finish pass. Let's see what it looks like. Didn't sound horrible. 160% over 500 inches a minute with a half inch tool. Doesn't look too bad. Floor finish, little stepped. Let's go take a look at the chips. Oh. So next, I'm going to test out a 5 8 finishing 45 degree helix end mill. So to get back, I forgot to check with you. The chips look uh, pretty similar to before. They got a little more weight, but uh, the roughing end mill is doing a really good job of cutting them up. And for the amount of material removed, this chip bin was already half that pile. It's not bad at all. So next, I'm going to be testing the 625 45 degree helix 5 8 with the coating. And uh, we're going to go the same surface footage, 2200. They didn't give an exact feed per tooth, but I went halfway between the three quarters and half inch. 300 thousandths with the cut, and the uh, depth of cut is going to be one and a half inches. Now, just to give you an idea, that's how deep of a cut that is with this tool. So, uh, let's give her a try and see how it sounds. I have a feeling that the spindle horsepower is going to be the limitation on this, not as much the uh, tool itself. But uh, let's give it a try. Alright, so at 7 thousandths per tooth, we're already at 137% uh, spindle load, which is a pretty heavy cut for this tool. That's only 242 inches per minute. Keep in mind, this is a 40 horsepower spindle also. We could try and bump the feet up a little bit. Let's see what happens. Now we're up to uh, about 145% spindle load. That's a bit more than I like to run this at, but uh, it's just testing purposes anyway. Ten percent more and see what happens. One hundred and fifty-five percent spindle load. And ten more. 
We are now at 23 thousandths per rev, 315 inches per minute, and 163% spindle load. And let's go to the last 10% and see what happens. 171% spindle load, 338 inches per minute, and 25 thousandths per rev. Finish pass. Now let's take a look at what we ended up with. Oh. Look at the chips built up there. Wow. The finishing chips are pretty thick themselves, but these roughing chips legitimately have weight to them. Wow. Surface finish, pretty good on the walls if I do say. The bottom's a bit scalloped, but wow. Let's go take a look at what these look like here. Turn the chip conveyor on. So again, I ran this basically halfway between the half inch and three quarters. We got up to 140% uh, spindle load, which is pretty impressive. That's almost 10 thousandths per tooth. And I'm still amazed by the chips. Just the size of them is crazy. Especially out of an end mill. Wow. So, both the tools actually performed better than I thought. The half inch, I think I remember we got up to 550 inches per minute with, and it actually took less spindle load, although the 5 eighths had a lot wider and deeper of a cut. But uh, once we give this chip conveyor some time to get these chips down, let's go take a look at what they look like. All the chips from the half inch rougher. I'm starting to like the Mazax. We got an 8800 here, a 6800 in the corner over there, and uh, the Palatech we bought that didn't come with the replacement door for the second machine. But uh, this is a 5000 that we bought. 18,000 RPM spindle. I really like this machine. I got a few more helical tools that I still have to uh, try out, but these are the two that I think we're going to use the most, so I figured to uh, try these ones out first. Still waiting for these chips. I'm wondering what's going on here. Oh, here we go. I can see them coming now. along with a lot of chips from the half-inch tool still. Wow. That's pretty incredible to me. That was a relatively heavy cut for what I normally do. So, uh, I'll be back with more testing videos. Just figured I'd give you another look at uh, the chips that are coming out of this. Still amazed by that. <laughs>